West Brom 1, Chesterfield one of three non-league clubs remaining in the competition. But West Brom ahead, that's a poor ball from Senesi, give it away, and now a chance for Manuel Benson, in for Burnley, and scores for Burnley! Marcus Senesi, the guilty party, presented Burnley with the ball, and the championship leaders take ruthless advantage as Manuel Benson slams in his eighth goal of the season. Five and a half minutes played, and Bournemouth behind in the FA Cup. goes back to Peacock Crowell in the Burnley goal, that's a mistake to Ryan Christie! Oh, Burnley, with a charitable gift, presents it straight back to the Jerrys, one mistake each, one goal each, Josh Cullen for Burnley, knocked it across his own penalty area, straight to Ryan Christie, who finished it first time, and the game can start again with 12 minutes gone, 1-1. Ball played over the top towards Ashley Barnes and Mark Travers again comes out to claim it on the edge of his penalty area. There is the element that things sort of go past. Oh goodness me, Lewis Cook's lost it in his own penalty area and now it's Ashley Barnes, swears it through. Opportunity again as it's squared for Zaruri and Bournemouth have made two massive mistakes at the back and Burnley have profited both times. This time it was Lewis Cook who just presented it 20 yards from his own goal to a blue shirt and as Burnley calmly played it across the six-yard box, it was tapped in by Anas Sawuri to put Burnley back in front after 39 minutes. Disaster. Ball in field from Goodmanson to Ashley Barnes for Burnley here. Just over the halfway line, Goodmanson continues his run. Down the left side of the penalty, Adam Smith in pursuit, holds him up for the moment. Back in field it goes to Zaruri once again. He's got Goodmanson still, he's got Brownhill in the penalty area. Ball back to Zaruri, who's gone through them and has put Burnley 3-1 up! And that is all just way too easy! There's about five red and black shirts in the way there, and Zaruri, with his right foot this time, smashes it into the bottom right-hand corner, and Burnley have hit Bournemouth with two sucker punches before half-time. The first one came from a mistake, that one was a collective mistake. Poor defending, two for Zaruri, three for Burnley. Throwing into the edge of the penalty by the Cherries to Moore, and then back to Christie, running along the top of the box. Here's Dom Solanke, that's a magnificent save, but the header is in! And Bournemouth, within two and a half minutes of the restart, have got themselves immediately a big lift. Dominic Solanke, just his fourth goal of the season, it came from a Burnley mistake, which led to a Bournemouth throw, and Solanke was there in a second attempt to head it into the net, past Peacock Farrell, and it's Bournemouth 2, Burnley 3. Noise behind us is because Bournemouth is just standing with the ball in the central back half position at the moment as Lloyd Kelly eventually knocks it over to the right hand side and as a result of that Ryan Christie has to head it back to a blue shirt and Bars knocks it in and here's Manuel Benson for 4-1! 4-1 Burnley! Lloyd Kelly at centre half, 4-2 apologies, John Williams is putting his hands up, 4-2 Burnley, I'm getting carried away with the De Cherry's defensive errors in this game because it was Lloyd Kelly's ball that didn't really give Christie a chance. Straight back to Burnley, and there was Manuel Benson. He's got two, 